Hello friends, welcome to the jQuery video tutorial, the making of address book series. In this video series, I'm gonna uh, talk about how to write a simple web application using jQuery. In the first video, I'm gonna cover the basics of jQuery. So let's start. Uh, well, jQuery is just a cross-browser JavaScript library for DOM manipulation. You can simply copy your version of Java jQuery from their website jQuery.com here, or you can simply load it from their available CDN. So you just have to copy this URL and paste it into your web page. I have included my version of jQuery here, and I want to check whether <coughs> whether dollar is available or not. You see this? Okay, which means dollar is available, which means the jQuery is properly loaded. Uh, every statement in jQuery or every code uh, in jQuery starts with dollar. Remember this thing. Uh, there are there may be condition where you you use multiple JavaScript code along with jQuery. So in that case, you want to override the dollar operator with some other variable. So what this does is basically this uh, removes the dollar operator or dollar variable out of the jQuery context, and it simply handles the entire ability or entire power that dollar had to a new variable called dollar j. <clears throat> so in this case, we'll get the dollar undefined. Here and now, dollar j is a new jQuery object. So I'm gonna remove this code. Okay. So there, uh, sometimes what happens, we you want to execute all your piece of JavaScript code uh, once the entire page got loaded, and you normally put it uh, at the bottom of that page. But there is a, a way in jQuery you can simply wrap your code or simply put your code inside this uh, built-in jQuery function document dot ready okay so all your code will get executed once the entire page is loaded within the browser there may be a condition where your page may contain multiple images or iframes and you want to execute all your code once the entire page got loaded including all the images and iframes so in that case you have to put your code inside window.load okay so all your code will get executed once the entire page got loaded including the images and iframes okay so let's start some more start uh, with some of the cool features that jQuery provides uh, one of the cool features is uh, selectors and the other is tra dome traversing so let's talk about the selectors selector is basically a simple mechanism where you can simply select particular element uh, that is there in the page and you can simply apply some logic to it like change the styling or add some content to it so I'm gonna select the parent uh, div means the div that has class parent Oops. what happened okay so to refresh it okay i got this parent div so remember this thing if you want to select particular element that has a particular class you simply use dot if you want to select particular element based on id you can simply put hash here but we'll get undefined in this case so no variable is available no element is available that has id parent okay so let's select our uh, Div dot parent and we can simply fetch its children using children built-in functions. Okay, we can simply fetch its first children. We can simply fetch its last children. We can simply fetch all the children using equal of operate equal of expression and to pass the index or you can set the numbering. Remember uh, this that uh, the first child always has zero index or zero numbering. So you have to, if I put one, which which means it it won't return the first child, it will return the second child. <coughs> See the highlighted code above. Okay, so we can simply fetch its children as well. You can fetch its content like this. So if I put the first colon first expression, and I can, if I want to select the or return the entire HTML that, ha that it has. You can simply fetch it like this using HTML. Okay, so this is all about selectors. This is uh, 
part of a selector this is part of the selector and all the function that we have used here dot children or dot uh, this uh, is part of the travel thing dome travel thing so let's talk about the ajax ajax is pretty simple in jquery you, if you want to load some uh, content into into a particular element you can simply use ajax for that so there are simply uh, simple functions available uh, so you can say dollar dot get which is text the uh, url parameter you have to pass the request url and uh, we get the response here you can pass some parameters to it using this so you can put anything here so, okay. like this so it will uh, send a request with these two parameters or we can say query string in fact so i don't need this i'm gonna remove it and i can simply put the response into the div dot parent so the existing content that the that div has will get overridden you see this if you don't want to override the existing content then you can simply use append which will add the content at the end of the existing content if you want to add the new content at the in the beginning of the existing content then you can use prepend for that purpose okay so this is all about ajax there are many other functions you can simply if you avoid this uh, writing this code you can simply put you can select the particular uh, element wherever you want your uh, response to be loaded and you just call the load function pass the uh, request url here and you are done see this okay if you want to load the ajax content so there is a built in function called dot get json you simply you have to simply pass the uh, url which should return the json response and it again takes the success callback and here you will get the all the json data which will be a json array in fact you see this so you can simply loop through it you pass the json array here you get the callback which returns key and value and you can simply put that value in the console or you can simply put that content into the div parent dot div, div dot parent so i'm gonna attend that see this cool so let's talk about uh yep i just uh while i was explaining this stuff you have seen i have used dot html or dot css these are all predefined functions uh, that jquery provides we can write our own custom function that can act uh, similarly so if you are aware of uh, jake javascript you simply write J this is the standard uh, way to write a javascript function and this is the way we call it but what if i want to call the function like this then it will obviously throw an error but we can bind that func1 to a dollar operator like this and you can simply apply some css to it see this okay the one more thing i want to talk about is uh, yep the ha hmm, event handler in this case uh, if i want to uh, alert something once i click the parent div so i can simply grab the parent div dot click event click event takes a function callback where you have to put your code okay let's see how it works so if i click on this i'll get the alert so this is all about click event if you uh, mouse over you can simply 
this okay if you double click so I'm double click and I'll got this if I click on it you won't get anything if you double click you'll get the alert so this is what I want to talk about uh, the next video in the, in the in the next video we're going to talk about uh, how to write a simple web page and the validation and stuff like that so stay tuned thanks for watching